Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, sometimes it takes time. But I am an optimist. And one of the things that I know is that in time, if you are armed with a righteous cause, as I like to say it, in the end, you shall win. You shall overcome. Sometimes it looks bleak. And some of the topics that we have today prove that point. There has to be absolutely no question. As time goes out, truth. For example, everything they threw at Trump, the lies about the Russian hoax. And I have been preaching, and you know this from day one, that when the truth comes out as it relates to all this vaccine crap, it is going to blow up in all of those vax pusher faces. So, along those lines, over 50% now believe that Joe Biden went too far on pushing the vaccine. I can tell you right now, that was not the numbers long ago. Over 50% of the Democrats it's 59% of the Democrats favor home confinement for those who are on Fox. Now just think about that. That means 59% of the Democrats, part of the American Communist 10, think I should be confined to my home. The angels confined to their home. My daughter, son, son-in-law, all productive people working. Parker with his yoga studio, Chad with his Crimson Ground services. They think we, rather than do all those things that we do every day, 59% of the Democrats think we should be confined to our home. I'm using that as a real example to just make that incredible point to you. Most of the employees of Dieter's Law are not vaccinated. In fact, I think there's only one that's vaccinated. They would want all of us to stay home. Over 50% believe the American democracy is at risk. And by the way, it is. But a majority of Americans now recognize that. You know what, folks? You can talk politics all you want, good, bad, indifferent, all these things. Wow. Not like what our position should be on this and this. Over 50% of Americans think our democracy is at risk. And by the way, that's not pointed at Trump. It's pointed what has gone on in the past year. That ought to scare the hell out of you. But there is hope because there's a waking up of Americans. In 2021, there was a 14 point shift between Democrats to Republicans in the country, the most since the early 1990s. Folks, I just want all of you to know, I and you cannot stand and do not trust the Republican establishment. This cannot be just about Republicans. They have failed us as much as the Democrats have failed us. It needs to be about like-minded Republicans. Trump Republicans is who we need to elect to office. I, I think back when George Bush, 43, had two years with a Republican Congress. He didn't, he didn't solve crap. Didn't solve crap. Warnock, Georgia United States Senator, thinks Republicans are anti-Americans. <laughs> Anti-America. There is an old saying, an old saying, that you can't overplay your cards. The American Communist 10 has overplayed their cards so bad. A Wisconsin judge has found that ballot drop boxes and ballot harvesting is illegal. Amen. Should be. Drop boxes. You know, some 
public place where you put in votes and ballot harvesting, going around and getting people's ballots, making sure they're filled out. My goodness. Globalists doubled. You want to know? It's the old, oldest sense. Follow the money. It's always about the money. Who's behind something? Who benefits financially from anything? If there's a murder, always ask that question. Who benefits financially? The globalists, the billionaire globalists, doubled their wealth during this pandemic. In fact, many of them far more than double. White supremacy, according to a Michigan Democrat, was the cause of the Texas synagogue attack. And folks, the guy who committed the Texas synagogue attack is a known criminal that was allowed to come into this country through New York and head to Texas and do that. There is a fable which applies to this day and age that we live in with Adam Schiff, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, and the whole American Communist 10 apparatus, and it's the boy who cried wolf. Remember the parable? The boy kept saying, wolf, wolf. The wolf didn't come. It was all a lie. So when the wolf really did come, and he yelled, wolf, 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 everybody, ah, bad things happened. These folks have been crying wolf for five years now. Five years. Nobody's listening anymore. Uh, <laughs> there was a story. Forget somebody else. Ended up getting $125 million in COVID dollars. I, I don't know how the hell. How the hell does that happen? <laughs> $125 million. You know what's funny about that? I bet you they're still unhappy. No question about it. I bet you they're still unhappy. I bet you all those millions didn't solve their life problems. Hillary Clinton's people tried to convince one of Epstein's island folks who ran the show to sign something attesting to the fact, an affidavit, that Bill was never at the island, which we know would have been a lie. Oh, my goodness. Can't we finally just take out Bill and Hillary? Finally, can't we? Can't we get definitive proof and evidence and somebody, I mean, can't, can't the public just come down upon these people? It came out that Ghislaine and Andrew actually dated while Andrew, she was pimping out the young girl for Andrew. By the way, Andrew's been stripped of his titles. He's worried about his finances. Sold a chalet. The lawyers will rape this guy. And then he'll get raped in jail, hopefully. Uh, did you see that story about that UCLA grad that killed? Oh, my God. She was a UCLA grad working in a furniture store. Apparently, furniture was her major, alone, attractive young lady. Some guy comes in and just kills her. Kills her. Stabs her. Awful. The trans woman swimmer, I, you know what? I've just tried to ignore this issue but I can't ignore it anymore. This trans uh, swimmer winning all the women titles claimed that she was the Jackie Robinson of the trans movement. <laughs> I mean, how, how, does, how does anybody feel good about winning the women titles when that's the case? Last but not least, Yunkin in Virginia passed no masks. You do not have to wear masks in school. And the teacher unions are flipping the hell out. Pisaki acts like civilization itself is at stake. Meanwhile, stadiums, because they're a member of the American Communist Den, fill up every weekend for the playoffs. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.